<laughs> what is up, Golf Tube? Welcome back, all of you perfectly average golfers. Second time out on the course here with the channel. Pumped about it. We're going to be enjoying the mountain views today. We're at Black Mountain Golf Club. And uh, well, we'll be playing all 18 holes. This course is going to be fun because the back nine boasts a par six. Whoa. Yeah, par six. At one point in time, I guess it was actually the longest hole in the world. So that'll be fun. We'll see how we get there. So we'll jump on. We got hole number one coming up. So Alan back with you guys again. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy about how the verse video went. I know we didn't shoot the greatest, but hey, we're just out here trying to get some content on the channel for now. And I know a lot of you guys that watched the first one are wondering, Alan, tell us what it was. What was the shot of the day? My personal favorite has to be the drive on the par five. I mean, we really went at it and it looked great the entire way through. Played the shot shape actually perfectly and around 260 carry all the way out. That absolutely is gonna be shot of the day. So let's hope that we can tally up a couple more nominations today and let's go, let's get at it. Got 145 going right up towards those trees. Got nine iron. A little blind, but hopefully that'll be good. <laughs> Keep rolling. Roll through that. Nope. Ooh. Be good. Good shot. Good shot. Hey, not a bad bogey save considering the chips. We'll take that for one. A little chaotic start going through the first hole. Left the putter on the chipping green, right. so I had to rush back to get it. But we're going into a par five here on two. Let's tee it high, let it fly. Side, kind of by the cart path. Hell of a drive here. We only have 164 in. Uh, I think I hit the cart path on the left hand turn there that we had off the box. And uh, it says 284 was the total drive. Really happy about that. And now we've got a shot to get on and maybe even give ourselves an eagle look. Did I just jinx it? <laughs> <laughs> just jinxed it. Definitely just jinxed it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely just jinxed it. <laughs> uh, that's all right. We're short left. Really tough lie here ball literally at my waistline so chipping a putt for birdie we'll take that every day that's gonna be about eight feet for birdie we'll take those so walking up uh i think we may be a little ambitious saying eight feet <laughs> it's more like 18 but hey we take these we've got a pretty solid look here for birdie it looks pretty flat maybe a little bit downhill so hopefully we can sink one and get right back to even par doesn't curve at all. right to left at all. Hey, we got par in the cars. Let's go, baby. We take those. Solid drive, solid pars. Let's keep it up. So we're uh, just plus one through two. Good start so far, but... Man, I'll tell you, these mountain courses, they find ways to make up yardage wherever they can, including, how about a 245 yard par three? Just casual, just something just to throw in there. Say, hey, you, you like the short par five you had? How about this? Why are you bullying me? See how things go, let's get at it. This is the longest par three I've ever played, and it's not even close. So yeah, we sailed over the back side of the tee box. I think it did hit cart path right up front, but uh, we need to reevaluate our distances because we definitely hit it much further than 245. We'll chip it up. Hopefully we can still get up and down for par. Get going. Not bad. I don't know how much green I had to play with up there. I didn't really look at it, but not bad. No good! <laughs> Take those! Keep rolling. Get in there! Woo! Oh, big pots, dude. Yes. That's how we do it. I don't know why we did the fist hand thing, but that's fine. Uh, 
Oh, that's tough. How about that long putt though, brother? Yeah, it was a little nerve wracking, but my coach, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> he just pepped me up and you know, I hit it. Yeah, so you know? here's the thing. Logan came off the tee box and uh, it was not an ideal piece of contact, right? Yeah, it was not ideal. I did not, mm, nope. But we hit a really good second shot. Great second shot. It was just a little bit short, yeah? A little chunky. And then what? We chip and putt, we save bogey. Yep. All that, all that is is just a mental outlook thing. You know, you, you just chunk one off the tee box. It's not in a great spot. Second shot's not perfect, but salvageable. We get out here, we hit mediocre shot, and it's like, man, why am I not Tiger Woods? Because you're not! That is not a bad side to be driving into. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, it's a par four. Uh, I haven't looked at the yardage yet, but we're just gonna tee it up and hopefully find the middle of the fairway like we normally do. Well, not normally do, but that we hopefully do. Three. Damn. Uh, uh, damn, let me go on, dude. Yeah. I drew the ball. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever done that. I'm gonna hit a provisional just in case. Probably the best shot pass I've ever had off the tee box. So the uh, first drive was salvageable. Uh, it's not as good as the second one, which is way up there, but we've got 175 and, oh, this wind is kind of swirling a little bit. I had it helping, but now it's hurting. I think we're gonna take a seven and just kind of choke down a little bit and hopefully we flight a little bit lower. So I'm not gonna lie, I was reviewing and editing the first video and I noticed that my takeaway was like really wristy and it went super inside. I've been trying to fix that. Went to the range twice, just worked on kind of controlling my forearms, moving straight back out behind me. And I'm getting great contact all of a sudden. We haven't sliced the ball really at all yet. So that's good news. Uh, but that said, I'm also kind of undialed with my distances. I'm pretty sure that seven iron just went over the back. Just for reference, that was our provisional. So, I mean, we really cranked that. And I mean, I'm, we're within 100 yards. So that's another drive that's like 280 probably. Really happy about the corrections. We just gotta keep it up, keep going. Yeah, so uh, we, again, went way over the top. And as soon as I got up to the green, the wind is absolutely helping. Back where I hit the shot, it, it was swirling. It was coming right up against my chest. But now we're in a position to where we've got some fence to deal with and not a lot of space. So if we can even get this anywhere near the green, be happy about it. Yeah, it's about what I thought was gonna happen. Try again. Now we're against the root. This is one of those, you just gotta, gotta hope and pray. Not bad considering it's heat. <laughs> but now we're chipping for bogey. Not bad, I mean, it's just, everything is in this not bad range. We get put into weird positions and we kind of have to keep hitting serviceable shots. And I think just, you know, one of the things is you just gotta be mentally prepared for that to happen sometimes. So now we're putting for double, don't love that, but hopefully we can just make it and just move on. Hole number five, 424, and it goes dog leg left. Looks like there's a pretty tight landing space just kind of in between these two front trees, which is where we're gonna be trying to take the D stick against the wind. Stay there. That's right near me, dude. That's right near me. I don't know if that's in play over there. So we stayed in play. There's the OB. But, <laughs> and if anybody is watching from the first video, Here we go again. We already are starting to get a cold sweat going on because we do have this tree. But the thing is, I don't really have a look at the pin. So I can take that out of the equation. We're not playing for the pin. We're playing to scoot something up closer in towards the fairway to give us a better third shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a hybrid, I think, and just kind of knock it through. Just get it something rolling up there. The greens, or the fairways rather, are really wet, so I don't know if it's actually gonna work, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, 
Perfect. Impressive. It's rolling. Really happy about it. I don't have any idea where it finished, but it did everything we wanted it to do and it started to curve back towards the green a little bit. So we could be really close. I'm not gonna lie. We did absolutely no work on our punch shots, but just taking the tree out of the equation completely has left us with this. We are in such a good position. And honestly speaking, we're gonna throw that up there as shot of the day consideration. I know it's not gonna feel like a shot of the day because it wasn't really anything incredible, Perfect. but for me, coming off of the poor day that we had with all the tree nonsense that we were dealing with to come up this short, that's shot of the day consideration in my mind. So hopefully we can still save par a little up and down here. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. Oh, it's gonna curve so hard. Ah, oh, it's, man. All right. That was nice. It's bogey. Hey, <laughs> we didn't play it uh, maybe the way that the designer drew it up. All right, next up, par four. Only 300 yards, dog leg to the left, blind tee shot. And again, I've never played here before, but my estimations and guesstimations would feel like we need to get right on the right side of those trees and just get over the top of the hill. So I'll be hitting five wood, which is essentially the equivalent of like a hybrid for me right now, how I'm using it. And hopefully we'll have that and maybe a hundred yard shot in, depending if we hit it nice. I've got no idea what's over there, but I'm hoping there's space to get a second shot. So that felt like it went really far, and I'm gonna go put my club back in the bag, and wouldn't you know it, we hit three wood. It is three. <laughs> An accident, I had the wrong head covers on my clubs and they look exactly the same. So that went really far. A uh, little mistake on my end, but hopefully we'll still be in a position. I mean, there is another fairway over here, so we should be okay. Um, and it looks like there are some guys over there debating if one, that's one of their balls or not, and I'm pretty sure it's mine. So we should have a shot into this screen on for a second shot. So yeah, we uh, out drove our fairway a little bit on accident. We've got 100 yards up the hill. It looks like it's a middle pin position. I am going to take pitching wedge for this and just kind of maybe a three-quarter swing, an actual three-quarter swing, not like a full swing that I think is three-quarters. I've got to be really light with this. Good. That's good. Nice shot. Oh, yeah. nice shot. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm not gonna lie, there's nothing that feels better than playing a shot that you just start to think through and you go, ooh, weird. Wind was against me, uphill, 100 yards. Gotta take a club that's more than my sandwich that really I just have sandwich or pitching wedge. And to knock it 10 feet, really, really happy. So we've got a birdie look, boys and girls. Let's knock one in, average golfers. Let's get a shot back here before we end up this front nine. Let's go! Woo! Love to see it. Come back in. Let's go, dude! What the heck? Come on! Reading me like a book. Come on! Let's go, dude. Big birdie putt. Beyond that though, Logan, the putt of just doom. That thing was from downtown. So now hole number seven, par four. Again, just beautiful scenery. It's 288, this is drivable. Let's see if we can pull off a little Matt Sharp here and see maybe if we can get a hole in one on four. Oh my God. Wait, Logan may have just done it. Dude, I didn't even realize you were hitting. Yeah. Bro. On the green. <laughs> if it's not on, it's real damn close. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sitting here talking and Logan's like, send it. Hey, what a madman. <laughs> I had no idea you were gonna hit. I hit that center of the face. Yeah. I mean, we should be good pending that it gets cleared it's over there, which I think technically the card has this whole dog lugging left, so should be good. Happy about it. Here we are, 
just a little bit short. I, if we didn't fade it, I mean, if I could learn to put a draw on the ball consistently, maybe we had a chance. Logan's baller drive, just YOLO 360, 420, put him dead center of the fairway. So he's in a really good spot as well. So two monster putts followed by two monster drives. Who are these guys? What? Let's chip. Let's get up and down. Let's go back to back birds. All right, flop shot. Let's see. Going? Oh, it's going to be in the heart. Perfect line. Just had to hit a little bit harder. Perfect line. Oh, yeah, Not bad. Out. Birdie par. All right, boys and girls. Par three on here on eight. What? <laughs> par three here on eight. 165. You definitely don't want to be short. So we're going to take a, just an easy eight iron. Looks like it is mid position pin. So here's hoping. You get hit curving right. Not All right, so we did go a little bit right. Looks like we caught the tree, came right back down in place. Not a lot of green to work with, but it is flat up there, kind of where the fringe is. So we're looking for something just on the fringe, close to where the green starts to become puttable. And hopefully we'll be able to get up and down for par. Stay up that platform, don't go down. Let's go. We landed that absolutely where we said we wanted to. Love that. Let's go. Let's get in for par. And unfortunately, folks, that's why we don't give away on pars and birdies. You can't. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's not talk about it. Let's just go on. <laughs> Final hole of the front nine. Par four. It's only 310. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the flag, but it's kind of right off the left corner of where the clubhouse roof is. So hopefully we can just get something nice and straight. We're not going to go full at this driver. We're just going to let it kind of sit casually and hope that we get something straight. Now we say we're not going full swing after Logan already hits. I'm not your dad. <laughs> don't you dare hit that ball full swing, bro. <laughs> That was really good. That was a full swing you hit like 400 yards. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> should be good. We should have, hopefully, a place downhill. Hopefully we just have like a little pitch, uh, pitch, putt, chip, putt, chippy putt, putt, chip. I don't know. <laughs> so we're just a little bit right. The problem is the second shot, we have to go right over the top of the bunker. The pin is pretty darn close to the bunker so we're gonna have to just carry it and if we go long we go long just make sure we don't go in the bunker that's that's rule number one right here don't go in the bunker oh it's bladed sit catch something don't go too far okay hey, hey, roll back roll back a little bit that was a very poor strike Ooh. oh no chance Double the finish. Ah, uh, don't love that. Well, it was a great round until we put four chips <laughs> on the card for nine, plus eight through the round. We'll be playing the next nine on the following video. I'm just gonna clean the slate though. So we're gonna be starting off from essentially dead on zero again. But let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite shot of the day? This one's gonna be a little bit harder to choose. Keep rolling. But let's take a time to quickly review how about the punch shots. So much better playing around the trees today. Chipping was really, really good. Putting outside of that little slippy doo-dah, not bad. And hey, 
no penalties again. We got scared once with a little bleeder that went to the right, but it kicked back in. And uh, wow, I'm telling you, like the game feels really, really strong right now. Did it be a little bit more consistent, I think, with our approach shots? You know, we had a couple of misreads, but it came to distance. But generally speaking, better than the last time that we were out. And all it is for me there, folks, is again, it's just, what am I gonna think about differently? You know, what is strategic enough for me to get through some of those problem spots? So really, really good stuff. Thanks for watching again, all of you perfectly average golfers out there. Let me know again in the comments below what you thought the shot of the day was, and we'll catch you guys right back here for another Perfectly Average Round. So long.